a lot of you guys have asked me and sent me a message if they should start Amazon FBA or if it's better than Shopify. And I'm going to be explaining to you in this video something that happens to me before I even start or even discover Shopify, which is, I think is like eight, nine years ago. Me and my brother, we actually discover Amazon FBA before dropshipping. And we wanted to start it. So we actually, this story is going to blow your mind because we could have been richer even faster. But we didn't have the mentality to follow and we were very young. So what happened is in this case that we, you know, the straw, when it was a fever of straw uh, that we uh, people wanted to change to reusable straw. And even right now, Starbucks, McDonald's, you see them using it. Before they even started, we got our hands on it and we really wanted to um, start selling that. So. We order them and we ship them to Amazon FBA to actually Amazon warehouse in order for them to be able to ship it for us. And it's funny because that product took off and a lot of people make millions with that product. So sometimes it's not about uh, the product, it's about the opportunity and the moment that you enter in the market. And for us, we couldn't be super rich. It's just, we were super young and we didn't do the correct way. Now, a lot of people have been asking me and sending me message, you know, privately. They're asking me, should I start Amazon FBA or should I start drop shipping? And let me be clear, for both of the platforms, you will need to have money. Obviously, you know, don't 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 let people fool you, you know. Uh, you will need money in any of those platforms that you're gonna start. But which platform do I choose and why do I choose Shopify over the other one? Well, basically. Because after my experience, we really understood that Amazon FBA is a great platform uh, to do it the same way that it is Shopify, but it's going to take you way more money. And the reason for that being is that you need to order your product that you're trying to sell in advance and have it shipped to the Amazon warehouse for them to be able to ship the product for you. Uh, because one of the most important aspects of Amazon is their shipping quality. So basically they can get the product with Amazon Prime shipped to you in like two, three days or one day, even they can get it to you depending on your location and other uh, factors. But at the end of the day, that's one of the aspects that really brings a different, a difference between other uh, uh, companies out there. Their shipping time is incredible and it's really good. One of the things that this uh, many of the people asking me is why why is shopify better and why should you focus yourself on shopify and the reasons for that being is that first of all you don't need products uh in advance uh so basically you can do mass testing without having the products on your hands that's that's one of the most valuable aspect of this business model is that you actually don't need to order um uh, products to to sell them so basically once your client order from your store whatever image or video you promote uh, your product with and then they go to your store and the place that order you don't have to ship it they actually shipping it from a manufacturer in china or a fulfillment center in the united states which i want to make a post on there and if you want to use and you're starting right now and you want to use a fulfillment company i used to use and I still have great connections with them. CJ Dropshipping, if you have no idea what it is, I have a link below, which is a fulfillment company, CJ Dropshipping. Go and sign up with my link. They're going to give you a better price. You're going to have access to talk to the agent that we work with in the past. So go ahead and sign up. The link is going to be below. Take advantage of this, you know. Um, but like I was saying, so you don't have to fulfill the orders. They're doing everything for you. They're shipping the product for you. So that's extremely important because in the society that we have today, we never know what is going to be working. So you pro you can test and maybe have an eye for it, but at the end of the day, you won't really know if that product really is going to sell. So you're going to be ordering what happens to us when we're too early into the market and we order, I think like 5,000 straw 
uh, to a warehouse and we never sold none of them because we were too early into the desire of the market uh, at that point. So you never know when is the right moment to enter in a product. And Shopify give you the opportunity to test uh, that with a low budget and without having the product in your hands. So I really, I really, really, really think from the bottom of my heart that Shopify will be the way to go. Not only that, but the structure to making a, a website is super simple. And what is more impo important is that you have access to that data. So basically you have access to their email, the address, everything. You are owner of that. So you can take that massive data and import it somewhere and use that data for you to market for anything, for a brand that you open it or a new Shopify store, if you want to do email marketing, SMS marketing. So the data is power. And the reason that Amazon is not giving you access to that data is because they are the one keeping the data for their power. And they're keeping growing and you're not doing anything. You have no access to no data. And I don't know if you understand what is the importance of a data because you probably starting drop shipping right now and you're like, ah, data, who cares about a email address and a name? But for us, a lot of our money comes from data. All the data that we receive, all the information that we get from customers are um, put in a Google Sheets and uh, separated depending on the order that they have placed. And we can retarget them when we open a new store because they have bought a home decor product or because they have some clothing that they have bought or because they have bought some shoes or some tech products. So we have many sheets that when we open a store in a niche, we have like 300, 500,000 emails that we have required uh, through all those years. Actually, we have more than 500 thousand at this point. But I'm saying like I can use those emails and upload them to my Shopify and retarget them with a simple email of saying, this is our product. And a lot of our sales come from that. And you have to understand that data is the power of the word. If you don't have data, you cannot scale your business in anything, in anything in life. Data uh, gives you the way to do projections or data gives you the uh, ability to understand things and then take your actions to bring it to the next level. So you need data in order for you to progress. And Amazon don't give you access to that data, but Shopify does. So you have full access to that data. Another thing is that uh, you are not in control of anything with Amazon. Once you ship your product, they're taking care of everything. And I don't know about you, but I like to connect with my customers. And the reason why I like to connect with my customers more when I have a niche store or a brand is because I can ask them, what is the next product, which is something that I'm going to be making in the future because now it's way too advanced for you, but I'm just going to explain you. So let's say I'm opening a uh, niche product, a niche uh, store, and this niche store becomes a brand. In order for me to bring new products into the brand, I use that data. I use those customers that I can connect with them uh, and ask them, what is the next products that they think I should bring to the store? And you probably don't understand the importance of this, but this is one of the reasons we build million dollars uh, stores because through our customers, through, through the desire of what they're uh, projecting to us, what is telling us that they want, we bring that kind of product to the market and then we already know that these people, they want this product. So once we have what they like, we just bring it and put it in front of them and they're gonna buy it. So this, uh, this is a super smart strategy that once you have a niche store or you have a brand, you can implement it. Now, understand that in order for you to get there, it's gonna take you a lot of time and a lot of investments. But either way, this is the reasons why I like more Shopify. Uh, they have a super great customer service as well. They are moving forward in the future. I think Amazon is stuck on time. I think Amazon is just becoming a website to go by, but they're not projecting themselves in the future. And this is why Jeff Bezos is using a uh, different brand. Like, let me do Amazon Prime. Let me use uh, open Amazon um, um, store so you can watch movie. He's making movies now. He's doing. He's going to the uh, moon right now. Uh, I mean, guys, he's doing so many things because Amazon is just a website. It's just a, a store. And a store has a certain limits that if you don't see in the future, 
and you don't bring something new to the table, you don't implement new strategies of uh, bringing uh, something that is innovating, you will be just a website and people are going to come into the market with new innovations and they're going to destroy you. And this is what is not happening with Shopify. Shopify is always increasing. It's bringing new things. Right now, Shopify is bringing a credit card, which I already made on my store, on my videos, that it, you can use the funds of your, uh, you cannot, you don't even need to withdraw them. You can have them in your Shopify store and use that card to spend your money. And even more important, they're telling you that if you leave money in there on the Shopify store, they're going to be investing you not, but they're going to give you a certain amount. I think it's like two or 3% back return every two, two months or every month, every month, sorry, on the money that you have there. So think about it. You know, this is something that they're just innovating all the time. And I think Shopify is just going to take out the worst. So for me, I choose Shopify or drop shipping Shopify over FBA, Amazon. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I answered all your questions. If you have any other questions about this subject, just leave it on the comments below. Don't forget to like. If you want to be part of the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, I'm going to be doing more videos like this on the full screen. Uh, so if you have more, uh, if you like this video and you want me to make something, a uh, subject that you like, so let me know. And if you like this kind of videos, let me know as well. So see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. And peace out.